All right, welcome folks, Mill Spec Ops Smoker here. This is gonna be your Friday sit rep. It's 1 p.m. Central Time coming to you from the great state of Texas. And it is November 5th. And so uh, without further ado, let me hop over the board. Hey, just a quick reminder for everyone uh, that is uh, that are actually doing the beard stuff for this uh, No Shave November. Uh, this uh, sale ends today. So it's uh, if you go in uh, No Shave Nov uh, at monkeyworksus.com on the, any of the beard products, it's 10% off and that, uh, that runs tonight so just a heads up uh, if you're gonna be doing that so uh, all right without further ado let's hop over here to our board uh, we're kicking it off here first and foremost with sky glass and um, we're gonna be uh, just kind of checking out the skies here uh, again pink aircraft as you can see uh, and there's quite a few of them are ones that don't wish to be tracked um, and uh, the only reason we can see this is because they are crowdsourced and uh, there are people that live across the United States and around the world that have antennas on their homes that allow us to actually see more stuff. And also sky glass as well as uh, open ADSB exchange aren't bound by the FAA uh, restrictions in terms of what data they can provide and share. And so uh, it gives us an opportunity to see things um, more so here than in other apps. And so, all right, let me uh, kind of zing around a little bit here. We do have some uh, a lot of activity actually when it comes to the um, surveillance aircraft today, which is kind of interesting. So uh, we are going to touch some on some of the DARPA stuff and mass surveillance. I want to kind of touch on that because I think there are quite a few people that don't realize who created a lot of the software that we are using and, and that uh, is, uh, you know, available at our fingertips at any given time on our phones and, and through you know, everything else that we have, all the smart stuff. So, all right, let me hop over here onto the list. And uh, let me see if I can't pull this up and see. I just want to get a, a total count, and we'll, we'll bump over to um, uh, to the other map as well here in just a minute. Uh, but uh, let's see here. So we're sitting at uh, 14 tankers up. I'm just going to highlight. I'm not going to go through the whole list, but just going to highlight uh, by the numbers. Um, the majority is trainers, right? Tex-2, T-38s, those things. Um, C-130Js, 23, uh, 22 NAs. Um, those are people that don't want to have uh, call signs. Uh, just regular C-130s are going to be 12. C-17s are 12. So we're sitting at about, uh, uh, let's see here, 24. Uh, yeah, 24 C-130s. So we're, we're about 50 up in terms of heavy movers, heavy lifters, roughly. Uh, H-60s, we're sitting at, at a dozen of those bad dudes up. And then let me see. Uh, air refueler wise we've got three seven six sevens up and then for the kc's let me see here where did you go oh it's here on the other side so let me uh let me expand that a little further so i can actually get a closer look on that. so um go that way alphabetically it kind of helps us uh, so yeah 14 tankers all right and then uh, r35s we got a couple of those up too so all right let me bounce out of this uh, again, we'll, we can take a closer look via this app here in a little bit if we need to, but uh, uh, that's what is, uh, that's all military and, and uh, aircraft that do not wish to be tracked, okay, uh, what they call masked. So there is that on Skyglass. Now let me get over here. Uh, this is going to be kind of our flat look um, in terms of open ADSB exchange. Now we have uh, for most of the morning, we've had aircraft off the coast. Now I see right now they're all... Kind of hugging the, the coastline they're not off in over the water uh, but we've had a lot of air refuelers up texas is just a hot mess i don't know what's going on out here over west texas but um, these are three uh, air refuelers that are up currently kind of working that general area we've got uh century that's headed to its usual little marshall point there and i think that's working some of the congestion and then we've got a couple more these are air refuelers here too that are kind of stacked up so Texas seems to have a lot of activity going on relative to um, air refuelers. Now, um, they also, this is going to be an E-6 that is up uh, for those not familiar with that aircraft. We've had them off the East Coast as well. This one is out over New Mexico, and uh, this is the aircraft that we're talking about right now. Um, and so that is basically a flying command center, all right? Okay, so let me back this up just a little bit here, and uh, let's get over to, um, let's see here, sorry about that. Uh, let's get over here to, you can see we've got a lot of weather rolling into Florida as well. So uh, we'll get over here to the uh, flight radar. I just want to take a quick look at the volcanic activity that's going on 
um, around the world right now. And so um, these two are still firing. This one is a massive ash producer. Uh, and, and then, of course, we got five of them down here in Central America and then La Palma uh, or Central and South America. And so that's sitting us at uh, eight current right now, which is uh, it's a pretty high number uh, that are producing ash. And so uh, if you kind of zoom in here, you can see where the ash cloud is going now. Uh, that bad dude has been pumping out a lot of ash. We actually got to a point where it was it was out here almost even Stephen with Hawaii on the map. So uh, that's a lot of ash. Okay. All right. Now let's get over here to Flashbang. Take a look at his schedule. Looks like he's headed down to uh, Delaware sometime this afternoon. Don't really know when. Um, pretty light schedule. Looks like they're uh, going to a funeral for uh, Colin Powell today. So that's going to be a big thing. And then he's going to deliver remarks on the October jobs report, which you know is probably in the toilet. All right. Okay. Now, planes of interest. Let's get over here and just kind of take a look at around what's happening. Uh, this is a spy bird. This is Cobra 28, uh, which is down in Ecuador right now. And uh, don't see that too often, although we have been seeing it more lately, uh, usually over here in the Columbia side. And they'll run kind of right along this this edge where they're, I think they're actually surveying, um, you know, the, the, the folks, the migrants that are coming up. Uh, but that's... Um, Pretty unusual to see him down here. So let's see where it was prior to that. Now that's today, or sorry, that's yesterday. Now today, um, it is flying around Ecuador. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's just doing some, some transitioning. And then let's see, now it is back 31 minutes ago. Okay, here we go. Uh, so that was yesterday, sorry. And uh, so it was down in Ecuador. And then today it is up in Texas, uh, running some routes up here in Texas again, all right? So that is going to be, that's an R-135. So you've got uh, San Antonio is, um, well, let me back up a little bit and see. Um, this is going to be, basically, this is your, your um, border running across here. And so this is kind of in that San Antonio side of house. Austin's up here, San Antonio, right? Okay. Looks like it's running around San Antonio. Okay. Now, uh, here's another one. This is going to be Shiner 4-0. And... This is another R-135 that's out running routes today as well. You guys can see um, this is actually east of Dallas and up into, this is like Texarkana, Shreveport, um, kind of running in that general area. Uh, but you can see that's, that's uh, they're definitely out grabbing some data. And that's again, R-135. So we seem to have a lot of surveillance aircraft up today. This one is actually gonna be uh, one that rolled out of uh, Warner Robins this morning and has been running routes up here in Kentucky. Uh, again, like I said, these are, um, uh, this is Peach 99. Uh, actually, that's not, that is to July. So uh, there is a Peach 99 up and <laughs> evidently I grabbed the wrong time slot for this. So just disregard that one. Uh, we will try and find it real time here in a minute, okay? Uh, but there is, uh, Peach 99 is up out of Warner Robins today and it's basically running through um, that same corridor. So um, I should have caught that. So anyway, sorry, my apologies there. Um, all right, now this is gonna be one of our spy birds actually left uh, Biggs Army Airfield and it's actually headed out to California. It's gray 44. Uh, just give you a better look at what this plane looks like. This is it. Uh, it's a little twin engine prop job, lower wing uh, with a ton of surveillance <laughs> things hanging off of it. Uh, here in the nose, off the side, off the tail, just a ton of things. So um, one heck of a spy bird there. And so that one is leaving, just left uh, Biggs again and is um, cruising. And is uh, about 23,500 foot up, 300 knots in California, okay? All right, now let's get over here to the Transportation Command, which is um, Camber Flights. And uh, the other day I said something about uh, Sophia uh, and you see it here on the map. It says uh, uh, Sophia Airport. And for some reason, I was pointing at Egypt. It's not in Egypt. It's in um, Bolivia, I think, or Bulgaria, one of those two. Anyway, it was headed to, to the Egypt area. And so uh, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, but anyway, these are the two that are up right now. You got one in Riyadh, uh, which is over in Saudi. And then the other one looks like it's coming inbound to the U.S. Again, they don't really disclose their, their um, where they're going. They just You just see them departing. That's a... Uh, the one that's heading here uh, looks to be a um, 
triple seven two hundred and the others uh seven six seven three hundred here so the one coming in the u.s now is um that's probably if i had to guess these are carrying okay if i had to guess all right now we get over here to the swift airs and you can see they are uh quite quite busy south of the border today and so i think what we've got going on here i'm hoping they're taking people out but they could very well be coming down and picking folks up and bringing them into the country all right so uh, if you kind of look at where they're they're uh or, or uh where they originated sorry uh you got one in alexandria that's over here headed to guatemala um another one that's headed from uh, guatemala over here to valley it's uh right there on the border um you do have one headed to port-au-prince from alexandria so that uh, remember alexandria is a 72-hour holding facility so it is likely that one is um, taking some people out of the country, okay? Um, but uh, yeah, that's so about half. Half the deck there is actually uh, looks to be working immigration content, okay? It's going to be Swift Air. All right, now over to Biggs, Army Airfield, where today on the arrival board, we've got uh, Omni Air International rolling in, 777-200 coming out of... Uh, Boise, Idaho, another Omni 777-200 coming out of Alexandria. That's a holding facility. And you might note the um, note the arrival time of that. That's uh, almost uh, 2 a.m. It's 1.45 in the morning. Left and it arrived there at, at Biggs at uh, 2.27 a.m. So looks to be one of those flights that um, are taking shape in the wee hours of the morning. Okay, now... From Biggs, where are they heading? You got one headed out here to uh, back to Boise, so that's taking some more than likely some poppies uh, up to Boise. Now that's a triple seven two hundred, and that's going to be a large. Uh, that's a wide body, and that bad dude is uh, probably it holds a lot of folks. It's a lot more than a triple or than a seven thirty seven. So uh, there's that. Now if you look at the board for scheduled and departures, um, it is slammed as you guys can see. We are moving some folks today. Today looks to be um, relocation day. So you got them coming inbound. And um, uh, this one's coming in from out in Bozeman, Montana. Uh, Montana. Wow, well, it's several from Montana. De uh, Delta Airlines. Billings, Montana. These are all coming in from Montana, Sierra Pacific. So I don't know what they had going on out here. Uh, we must have missed a leg yesterday of them bringing folks um, out to Montana. I didn't think they were getting any poppies, but it looks like we brought, we've we relocated some poppies out to Montana. Um, but these flights are all coming in from Montana and they are headed to Baltimore, Washington, Tucson, Arizona. Uh, let me see, my screen locked up. Another Tucson, Arizona, and then the Delta Airlines looks to be headed over to ATL. Okay. All right, man, my flight sims are giving me a really hard time today. I don't know why. It may be because of the topic that we're gonna be discussing. But they just keep cooperating. And so uh, this is going to be all your helos up that are basically the um, Eurocopters. And I'm going to kind of delve into those a little bit because we did have some border action earlier today. Uh, we do have this running all the way up the corridor within uh, Arizona. And uh, that's kind of an interesting thing. But there, there could be some life flights mixed in there and some, you know, police helicopters, a lot of different stuff. But a lot of activity in, in uh, Arizona right now. But let's get over here. Landed two hours and 50 minutes ago. Now, this one was in New Mexico over to El Paso. And you can just see this is actually Department of Homeland Security. And uh, you can see them working that border pretty hot and heavy. Uh, and so it looks like we've got some increased border activity in this El Paso area because this is where most of our work is going right now versus Del Rio or Brownsville. Okay. And so. Uh, that looks to be where they are they're focused at the moment. Uh, this is going to be N140TX. This is actually one of your um, Texas Department of Public Safety. It looks like they were down here in Presidio. Uh, and at, let me see, this is for Friday. So out there near Alpine and, um, uh, and I don't know if you've ever been out or anyone has ever seen or been in this area, but it is, there's nothing out here. I mean, you've got uh, Marfa and Alpine and all that whole area. I actually did my my land speed record on my CBR 1000 of 182 miles an hour out there in Alpine. So it was, uh, like I said, nothing. I think I passed a border patrol guy going the opposite direction, but 
it's uh it's just straight flat nothing uh it, but, but snakes and and uh grasshoppers so nothing out there so those guys are out in that general area uh in 204 tx um san antonio over to austin so it looks like that one is uh kind of head back to uh up there to now that could be tied uh, with the governor or something along those lines but um uh, that was yesterday okay so that's going to also be uh texas texas department of public safety all right now uh in 3980 alpha another uh homeland security and this one here is also running routes uh you notice it was along with the other one same thing out here in this general area uh, along that borderline right there and the highway so okay laughlin all right this is going to be laughlin air force base down in del rio and only got one that's a swift air flight 737 400 that came uh from alexandria and going back to alexandria so uh more than likely i'm hoping the folks going to alexandria are the ones that are being deported um so i think that's kind of what we have going on and then in 124tx this is actually going to be uh one aircraft that was flying in and out of uh, del rio also texas department of um, public safety so kind of like your state troopers i guess is what you would refer to them as here in texas but uh but yeah this is um this is them headed out outbound i don't have anything else on them but they just uh one of the flights now i will tell you a lot of folks are staged right here in del rio uh waiting for the arrival of uh, people to come up through the, the caravan um, i know down here in brownville it seems like that would be the logical point for people to come in but uh, all the activity I'm seeing right now is up here in El Paso, okay? All right, now uh, let's get over here to Hunter and uh, see if we've got anything going on. Yeah, we do have one departure. So it looks like we got a, a Swift Air that's rolling in from uh, uh, Gulfport, Mississippi. And then we've got it uh, headed out of, of that location, uh, headed from Savannah, actually headed up to uh, Chicago. So it looks like we're relocating some poppies today up to Chicago that's going to be about 200 plus um, 737 400 okay now let's talk Guantanamo Bay uh, real fast just uh, kind of looking at the board looks to be a normal day this is going to be our Tuesday Friday flight right here which is a little small puddle jumper uh, kind of like your Gulf Stream it's a Phenom 300 aircraft and then we've got our Jacksonville that's going to be your Legal Eagle Uber and looks like um, an Airborne Express inbound from Norfolk. Um, that's a route. So don't see anything on the board that is out of the order at the moment. Okay. Now, let me jump over here real fast. I do want to show you uh, some of the stuff we had going on this morning. I will tell you, these are the tankers that uh, we were seeing. We've got a lot of air refuelers off the East Coast. Uh, so we were looking at those in Skyglass earlier today. Um, and uh, looks like they're, they've got fighters up again. Uh, remember, uh, Delaware, this is where uh, Flashbang is going to be heading. And so it looks like they're doing some prep work. Already got um, some air patrol up as it is now. Um, but that's, you know, you're talking three tankers up. So that, that's quite a few, quite a few uh, fighters. So uh, then we get down here to North Carolina. Now, this is what I meant to show you the other day on Wednesday. Um, We've been seeing a lot of activity off the East Coast. And so this was yesterday, uh, or sorry, Wednesday. And, um, and we had air refuelers off here as well. And so you've got them off of there's Savannah, uh, which I find interesting because, you know, here in Hunter, this is where we're, we're putting poppies. All right. And so uh, the fact that we've got fighters up in that general area, I think, is very interesting. And then also, this was this morning. This is Eddie 61. He rolled out off of, this is Philly up here. Uh, in the left corner and you can kind of see coming right off the coastline there Atlantic City um, and he's actually starting to do the routes as well and so um, and then as we were talking about Gitmo I did want to just point out we did have two uh, two of the Gitmo birds coming out of Guantanamo Bay this morning um, they were just basically flying a little two two formation you know two bird pack uh, headed into the weather it looks like and so that's going to be your base commander and probably the um, um deputy commander uh for the base all right those are their airplanes so there is that all right let me get back over to the board i just want to make sure i didn't forget that as we were going through it and if we look at uh planes of interest relative to the 
um, some of these other um, aircraft. Let's see here. These are going to be Gitmo birds, and um, they, let me just make sure here. Uh, the Gitmo birds are rolling. Let's see, we've got one coming out of Tallahassee, headed up to Rochester, New York. Uh, looks like it just took off. And that one uh, started out, it was in Jacksonville to Tallahassee, Tallahassee up to Rochester. And then uh, let's see, the other one here I thought was interesting. This is actually one of our Phoenix Airs, flying as Phoenix Air 504 uh, today. Uh, that one's actually rolled out of, where do we get it? Uh, from Greece, headed over to Stuttgart, Germany and see where it was prior to that so earlier this morning that thing was in tanzania um, again these are agency birds that's why i'm talking about them okay okay actually started out in zambia and then went to tanzania and then from there over to greece and from greece over to so that's probably going to be our n183 if i have to guess it aircraft all right okay now let's get into the meat of this i want to point a couple things out uh, we've been talking a little bit about darpa um, and i just want to kind of refresher uh, i know many of you that have been following me for a while uh, know i came off of some darpa programs none of this stuff though it was all a missile and fire control type of thing or or uh, you know the aer aerospace and defense programs but just wanted to point out because there are a lot of folks that don't realize that a majority of the apps that we use are basically all developed by DARPA, okay? Uh, Facebook was LifeLog at one point um, and uh, it transitioned over to Facebook, but they run or develop Twitter. LinkedIn, which is all your business profiles and everybody that jumps into that. Um, uh, Instagram, right? Um, and they develop that. Some of the stuff they develop just for the mere point of fitting, uh, for example, Instagram, right? Facial recognition. Um, you know, how do you get the populace to sign in and, and uh, take photos of themselves and load it into a database with their name, uh, you give them a tool, right, like this. So Instagram's one. Siri, you know, voice recognition. Uh, then you got Square, which is uh, all the monetary stuff that gets funding, you know. Uh, YouTube, what we're watching right now. Now, the interesting part is the 23andMe and Ancestry because that actually maps into, that's DNA mapping. So now keep in mind, you've got a social profile that they've developed now it's all tied into uh, DNA mapping. So, uh, and you know where I'm going with this, right? Uh, how do you, you know, if you know how a population interacts with each other and you can actually uh, input something into it that is going to, uh, you know, change <laughs> uh, the populace, uh, it would be easy to do if you knew how everybody's DNA was structured, wouldn't it? All right, they, uh, Google, that's a big one, right? Um, that ties into Google Maps and everything else. Uh, AWS, they're, they're highly connected with uh, Amazon, right? You got uh, Alexa, which is uh, listening to you all the time in your house. Um, and then you've got the, um, they've got an AWS, which is their network system that ties all everything together for Amazon. And all of this stuff DARPA developed, but they remember DARPA is a conglomerate of, or I say a conglomerate, they are a tool that has been developed back uh, the same time NASA was actually uh, spun up. Um, around the time, same time as Project uh, or uh, Operation Paperclip, right? And so it all rolls under the Department of Defense. And, uh, and of course, National Security, uh, the NSA is part of, rolls up under Department of Defense too. And so you see where this data is going. And so if you go over here to just taking a look at how things are captured, uh, you know, you've got a smartphone and it has all of these tools on it, okay? <laughs> Uh, probably not 23andMe, uh, but it could have Ancestry, right? Which maps, they know where all your family are. But these tools that you use every day are basically gathering data on you. They know all your habits, they know what you buy, who, you, who your friends are, what you like, what you don't like, uh, where you work, um, you know, what your, what your political views are. They capture all of this stuff and it goes into these giant databases that are, that are just basically pumped in this has happened since 9 11 um you know when we gave up all of our freedoms on that but this is on steroids okay and so you're running around with your phone well these airplanes that i've been showing you that fly around that have these um dirt box and stingray uh equipment on them uh have the ability within 20 miles to play man in the middle which basically means that they are basically tapping in to uh the the phone networks right, these towers, and they become the tower. And so now they're, they're communicating directly with your cell phone, okay? 
And through that cell phone, all of these data tools and apps with all of that data, they're basically able to upload it and take every bit of that, right? Pictures, anything you got on your phone, anything you have on your phone. It's in the air, they can grab it. Within 20 miles, they don't have to be over right overhead, they can be within 20 miles. And, um, and so they do that, and then that information is pumped in to NSA into these giant databases. Now, the NSA doesn't just do it from the cell towers and grabbing from your phones, but they also do it from the internet, right? So they've got these giant networks uh, all, over the, all over the US, all over the world, that basically are grabbing everything you do on the internet, and then on top of that, they've got the cell tower stuff that's grabbing everything you do on the phone, okay? Now, we talked about Google and their data centers, but these are the data centers around the U.S. through Google. And if you remember, in recent, um, uh, I guess, in what, December of last year, we actually had, let me get back over here to my screen, uh, you remember the Nashville, uh, the bomb that hit the AT&T uh, building, right? Well, that... Uh, was supposedly a location that housed uh, data. It was one of the data centers. And so they use uh, AT&T, they use you know, uh, T-Mobile, they use all of them um, to, to mine the data as well, okay? And so now they tried to say that was a big conspiracy theory, but I will tell you uh, this was, it was not, okay? Um, straight up, this is what they do and this is how they get their data. And it comes in through these things because your cell providers. Now, the way they get a loophole through with the um, with the cell towers is the fact that they're not all FTC cell towers; they're independent cell towers, and so they don't use the ones that are that are, you know, um, mandated by uh, the FTC or whatever it is. Right? Um, they basically use the ones that are not that are neutral, and that's how they get around federal law of data mining being being you know. Uh, that man in the middle stuff. So just want to point that out. Like I said, uh, a lot of folks don't rec you know, realize that, that DARPA created all of these things and that um, they are utilizing this to grab mass surveillance on all of us. Okay? And the piece that is, gets really wonky and, weird and, and crazy are the DNA pieces, which is 23andMe and Ancestry. And remember, this is DARPA. They created every bit of this. And what they do is they spin them off as an IPO they put a, a figurehead in play who's just basically that, um, but they still migrate and, and gather the data, all right? So that, my friends, is Department of Defense, and that is your government at work, and yes, they are spying around the clock. Okay, now this is, I'm trying to get back over at ADSB Exchange. Like I said, all day today, uh, this thing has just been hanging up, white screens, uh, just not loading. Um, <laughs> Very well, so I don't know what's going on over there, uh, but um, big lag. So the minute I switch off of this and come back to it, I got to read the thing. All right, so let's get over to TFRs real fast. I did forget that. Uh, as you can see, we do have one that's going to be flashbang bouncing out here over Delaware. That's going to be him. Um, and then let's see. I don't know what this one is up here in the corner of Pennsylvania. I'm going to zoom in and just see. That may be a hazards. Yeah, it's a hazard. So that is a pneumatic line test okay so not too much there we still have these over in new york which are security tfrs and i'm not really 100 percent on why they are there uh that one is over a oh that's a bridge right here it looks like and then this is let's see over manhattan so that that could be well that's central park i don't know maybe that's around trump maybe trump's up there i don't know very interesting. He normally does not have a security TFR, but maybe when he goes to New York, he has to have one. Maybe. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see here. I think these are air shows. Let me just double check. Yeah, air show. That's Atlanta as uh, World Series. Uh, still there. I don't know why. Warner Robins is security. Um, the one off of Florida in this uh, big soaker is uh, Space Operations, which I don't think they're launching anything today. Um, and then, of course, we've got uh, the air show down here in Florida, air show here by Mobile. And then uh, our normal border security, same thing here, border security stuff. Uh, let me see what this is over Tucson real fast because that one. Okay, that's a burn box up here in California. That's Beale Air Force Base. So, okay, again, it looks like, uh, let me see if I can find our, our R-135. Kind of struggling to find that one now. 
Uh, but we did have it. It was running routes in here uh, earlier today. There's one of our E6s that's actually coming in from, from the East Coast over to, uh, uh, let's see, where is that headed? Kind of up Oklahoma side of the house. And so, yeah, we got a peach somewhere in here. Just can't can't find it at the moment. But uh, there is a, there is an R135 or was an R135 up here working routes uh, in that. So, okay, listen, that is going to be our sit rep for today. So you guys uh, stay frosty out there. Um, I'll be back on Monday. Uh, we'll keep an eye on this uh, over the weekend to see if we get anything that that happens out of the out of the norm. Um, going to be it. You guys be safe out there. God bless. Yeah. Check out the latest gear and products at monkeyworksus.com.